This deals with inflation. To do this, we're going to use the compound interest formula. F equals P times 1 plus R over N to the NT. But we're not using it to calculate the growth of an account. Instead, we're dealing with the growth of inflation. So instead of an interest rate, R, we're going to use the inflation rate as the interest rate. And it's not explicitly stated, but this inflation rate is an annual inflation rate. So N will be 1, because we're considering this inflation process just happens once each year. This is a simplified version of inflation, but it's good enough to make decent predictions. So we're told that the inflation rate is 4%. We're projecting forward five years, so that'll be T. And we're starting with something that costs $150 in 2015. So replacing P with $150 replacing R with 4%, and again replacing N with 1, because this inflation process only happens once a year, according to our assumptions. Projecting out five years, we can calculate that at the end of the five years, this will cost whatever that right side equals. So we pull up the calculator and calculate 150 times, in parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.04 divided by 1, raised to the 1 times 5, or 5th power. And we find that that $150 item in 2015 is expected to cost about $182.50 in 2020. And that illustrates one way to calculate the effect of inflation. Again, typically inflation is not a constant rate, but it's a simplifying assumption we can make to make calculations like this, and at least get an idea of what uh, the inflation will do to the cost of an item like this.